Hey, everybody, springtime is here, and uh, you'll notice that, uh, you know, there's a few flowers uh, starting to show up in your garden that just are coming up volunteer. Uh, you may notice that there's some uh, uh, little uh, uh, yellow things that probably will soon be uh, showing their nice yellow flower and then a fluffy flower. And, uh, you know, one of the things I've discovered in life is weeds come up really easily. You don't have to do much at all to produce a weed. It'll just show up if you do nothing. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, in fact, sometimes we sort of live our life that way. We do nothing, and guess what? We produce weeds. The only thing that can make it worse is when you scatter weeds intentionally. When you go out and plant weeds, you're just going to make things even worse than they already are. So when we talk about joy, which we're talking about this week, you know, it's important that you plant joy in your life. Plant a field of wildflowers. Get a wildflower mix and scatter it wherever you walk. And you know, in that way, you're bringing blessing and you're bringing beauty uh, to wherever you are. Now, I think that's part of the task of, of Christians. One of the things that the Apostle Paul says at one point in the New Testament is that we are a fragrance of life. And I think that's what God wants us to be, a fragrance of life, and he wants our life to be a thing of beauty. You know, uh, in Paul's letter to the Philippians, one of the things we see there is Paul scattered joy. I think he scattered it wherever he went. You catch this positive attitude of Paul, even as he writes this little letter of Philippians. Even though the Philippian church was going through difficult times, Paul was scattering joy. And, uh, you know, he doesn't divide this letter into neat little theological uh, sections like he does some of his other letters. But Paul is scattering joy throughout. It's, it's a very personal letter, probably the most personal of his letters to churches. And, uh, and, and so Paul then scatters not only the joy, he scatters his teaching, he scatters personal references throughout this letter. And it seems that it's a letter that flows from, from Paul's heart to, uh, to ours. And uh, uh, it flowed from particular situations that that church was facing. Now, if Paul then is writing personally and from his heart, well, we would expect it to be a little bit disorganized and maybe a few wildflowers scattered along the path here and there. And that's kind of just what we see uh, in this letter. Now, that may be a lesson for, for life for us as well. You know, uh, it's a warning, first of all, that uh, don't waste any time scattering weeds along your path. Those weeds aren't going to bless anybody. But, you know, if you've got a wildflower mix, scatter it generously along the path, wherever you walk, and, you know, people will pick up on the joy of your life. So today, wherever you're walking, look for some opportunities to spread some seeds of joy and make it a good day. And Jesus will be honored in all of that. Have a good one. Bye-bye.